sit down, Hillary. What have we said about the pointing and waving? But it makes me seem warm and spontaneous. I always wave and point everywhere I go. It makes me seem real popular, like lots of my friends have unexpectedly turned up wherever I am. Okay, Hillary. We've been working together for 18 months now, and one of the issues we've been working around is authenticity. Now, maybe you could become more popular if you just were yourself. Well, if you're saying that me being myself will make me more popular, well, that's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. I need to explore who the real me really is. I feel we're making progress here. I'll mail my people. We can set up some focus groups. I'm excited to know who the real me really is. Let's talk about communicating with people. Oh, Lord knows I've tried. I'm just not good at communicating with people. Okay. Let's unpack that a little, shall Annie, we? would you wait a moment? I have not finished delivering the speech I had prepared. I may not have the charisma of Bill Clinton. That's a whole other issue. I may not have the oratorical skills of Barack Obama. Hillary, just listen. Okay, so to me, a good speech is saying each word separately to make my point which can come across as artificial and overly scripted. That's very interesting, but... Which can make me seem alienated and disengaged. Good work. So, what we're looking at here is a classic disconnect between Hillary Rodham Clinton and reality. You're afraid of being in the real world because you suspect you don't have a place in it. What happened? I used to be so super confident. <laughs> I wonder if we're looking at a gender issue here. Well, I agree the American public can forgive me for being female. I wonder if they'd be so tolerant if a young intern performed a sex act on me. Though it might be kind of fun to find out. <laughs> Are you still angry with Bill? I'll tell you why I'm angry. I'm angry because I'm up against Coco the fucking clown and people are still saying they're going to vote for him. Donald Trump is a racist misogynist with makeup by McDonald's and hair by Looney Tunes and we're still level in the polls because I'm not charming enough? I mean, isn't that the truth? Ah, uh, truth. Now, that's a big issue, Hillary. We have to finish now, but I'll book out this slot in my diary for the foreseeable future.